Hi everyone, I'm back with another video from the Diablo 4 Season 4 PTR. This time I want to talk about the Necromancers. So there's a lot of hype around those minion necros and I went in to try this out. And what you can see here right now are mostly the Shadow Mages actually just kind of cruising through those higher pit tiers. This is a tier 116 that has level 199 monsters and scales them beyond that as well with extra uh, HP. So this is really high-end content and something that not many builds will easily do. And well, you can see here, those minions are actually crushing this. So I've been trying out a few different variations. I actually started out with a planner. Uh, I was very intrigued by um, the new Bone Spear power or like the new Bone Spear upgrade that the uh, Bone Mages have, which allows them to shoot your own Bone Spear. So this is this one here. That's a really cool one. And uh, I'm going to talk about that separately as well. But this is where I started. And it's really fun actually to play this because the bone spears they shoot are basically your own bone spears. They scale with all of your multipliers and the bone spears just like fly all over the place. So it's kind of cool stuff. But later I also tried out shadow mages just to kind of like purely scale minion damage and not actually attack myself anymore and play like a pure minion summoner necro. I also had a blood golem in there for extra damage reduction because I didn't feel very tanky. But once you have extra defense, once you know you have a better setup because my character is fairly unoptimized, then this will feel much better. But yeah, as you can see here, I'm kind of just cruising through those uh, pit levels here. And you do have to be a bit careful of survivability. I was not feeling that comfortable just yet. But again, this is also mostly due to the fact that this is like the highest tier monsters in the game and they hit like a truck so if you don't have good defenses it's not gonna feel that comfy but yeah in the grand scheme of things minion necromancers in various forms are going to be a thing now so that is actually really cool and you can even combine minions as kind of like either some extra damage tool or some utility stuff much more easily now than before as well for the necromancers so there are definitely combos now where you can play for example a blood surge or a seven necro now with minions as well and still deal damage of your own and maybe have the minions support you in some ways as well they massively buff the book of the dead and all of these powers are pretty impactful especially on the mages i would say there is, uh, you know, stuff where you can deal more damage from your mages, where you get lots of essence, where you can get guaranteed vulnerable. You have the bone spear stuff. You have um, the corpses here, and there's also other stuff here, like you can get cooldown reduction from your reapers, and chance again the corpses here. You can have taunt. You have like inf basically invincible defenders if you want, and then here you have like the skirmishes for like some actual minion damage. And also the golem, I think they tweaked a few things here. Like now the golem hits an AoE with all of its attacks. It can pull enemies, it can make them vulnerable. It can give you five corpses and uh, yeah, lots of really cool stuff here, basically. So in general, there's a lot of stuff to try and a lot of stuff to kind of like, you know, include in a build or, you know, um, you know, push it a bit more in one or the other direction. But yeah, those mages here, they are definitely uh, crushing. So I can also see the boss. Um, it's actually really good on the boss because these minions are not all that great at clearing um, like AoE packs, but they actually have really good single target damage here. I'm not sure exactly how much life this boss has, but I would uh, reckon it's like a few hundred million or something at this point. And uh, well, you can see that <laughs> this guy is melting. So uh, it's uh, kind of crazy how much damage these minions can do now. And this also means you can make a very, very comfy, like, like hell tight builds farming builds you know if you don't go like try hard high-end content you can literally just do a walking simulator setup and you don't even have to look at the screen so i do have a planner here that i made which is unfortunately just the bone spear version of this that i just described so this looks like this here where you actually want to invest in the bone spear and you want to invest in like your own damage and like all that stuff and uh, i have a paragon setup here and then i repurpose this to make this shadow mage version but again they are like very different in terms of how you scale because here you scale your own damage and then on the shadow mage version you scale only minion damage so there's like no bone spear stuff and i change a bunch of glyphs and so on but um i'm gonna make a separate version for this whole planner which i just didn't have time for yet i just want to get this video out here but if you really want to try the bone spear version of this it's also really fun and i can show this real quick so here you can see that with the bones mages actually shooting bone spears all the time. And on this setup I had, I don't know, like 
70, 80% attack speed or so, all of that gets transferred to my skellies. And then there's also like a new mod that you can put on your weapons that says bone spear projectiles have a chance to cast twice. And well, you see like these bone spears are flying all over the place here. So uh, this is actually not really me shooting bone spears, but they are coming from those mages and they do my damage. So it's actually a really cool and really fun setup. So uh, this is actually very intriguing, and which is why I wanted to try out the minion necros in the first place. But there's definitely other combinations that are possible. There's certainly something where I can like, heavily invest into the golem. The golem seems to be quite powerful as well. I was trying that a little bit. And uh, the golem definitely does some massive chunks as well with millions of damage per hit or so when you really invest into it. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. I'm not exactly sure what is the kind of expected power level just yet for like endgame builds, but the minion necros definitely seem to be quite up there. Not quite on like the barb level with dust levels, which is certainly getting nerfed. But yeah, they seem very strong now. So if you're a minion enthusiast, then there's definitely something to look forward to. I'm going to keep you guys covered with more stuff that I find out. I want to do more testing on this because, well, minions and necros is something where I definitely need like a bit more time, I guess, to figure some stuff out right now. But I just wanted to show you what we got so far. I hope you enjoyed this little video here. Stay tuned for more updates on the PTR. There's a lot more builds that I'm going to test, a lot more stuff coming. So hope you like this one, and I'll see you guys next time.